Hello and thank you for joining me. Today's video is about the Wynex Tactical Chest Rig. Stay with me. So before I delve into the insides, um, I've never really thought about using a chest rig before. But it's kept coming up on my feed and for the price it's $14.99 delivered. I thought I'll take a punt, I wasn't expecting a lot. But to be fair though I'm pretty blown away by the quality of it but we'll go into that in a moment. A chest rig is ideal to accompany your bug out bag. As you saw in the, uh, the thumbnail for the video, it's worn over the front of the body. It's still enabled a rucksack to be worn. The sternum strap sits above it and the belly belt below it. And it gives you access to items that you might need quickly without having to take off your rucksack. Likewise, it would also be quite handy if you cycle. You could have your essentials in front of you. And it's even ideal if you're in and out of a vehicle because it won't hinder, you can wear it. It's not gonna hinder you whilst you're driving. And if you, I don't know, for whatever reason, had to bail out your vehicle quickly, you're wearing your essentials. So let's have a look what I've put inside. Just bear in mind that what I've got in here isn't necessarily what I would have in here, if that makes sense. It could be that you wear it with just your EDC items in there to free up your pocket, or if you're on a specific task, then you would tailor that for that task. All I've done in here, as I'll show you in a moment, is pretty much just added survival kit items. They're sort of items that if I lost my rucksack, I'm gonna be a little bit peed off, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. There'd be enough items in here and on my belt to sustain me, at least in the short term. I'm gonna reposition the camera and we'll crack on. So as I said, the chest rig is made by company Winex, Winex, Winex. It's made of a thousand denier nylon, it's not Kajura, uh, but it is certainly hard wearing. The stitching, I'm quite impressed with. The zip pulls, they're not YKK zips, but they seem decent duty, you know, decent quality. They're doing what the old Helicon techs do, a bit of paracord through the, the loops for the zip pulls with a bit of heat shrink tubing on there. It's soft Velcro faced with laser cut molly strips if you wanted to attach further items there. In my opinion, unless it's really low profile, I wouldn't bother, otherwise you're just adding bulk out the front. But that's entirely up to you. It's got two fast hex type clips at the front so you can actually remove it all together. And two on the side. I found it easier to put on and off by releasing those on the side, putting that over the head, and then clipping on. The back of it has just got one nylon panel, and again, it's soft face Velcro. So if you're wearing this over the top of your jacket and you're not wearing a rucksack, you could attach markers on there, some cat size, something like that, so that people behind you in your group can actually see where you're going. You can, of course, put a jacket on over the top. You can wear this, slip a jacket or a coat over the top, and it becomes a lot less visible. So there's loads of options. I chose the, uh, the olive green. There's also, a, I think it's a coyote brown that's available, and a black. But for my purpose, to accompany my bug out bag, I wanted the green. It comes with, in the UK, it comes with two Velcro patches, the Union flag, which I've left on here. It also comes with Winex's own branded uh, morale patch, should you want to, to put that on there. I will imagine that if you purchase this in the States, then it would have your stars and stripes, uh, as opposed to the UK Union flag on there. So anyway, as I said, it's to accompany a bug out bag and perhaps carry items that are essential, perhaps survival items or items that you're gonna want access to quite quickly. So what I'll do is just go through what I've put in here. As I say, what you stick in yours is entirely up to you. So it's got a front pouch or a pocket here. All I've put in here is a little Helicon Tex boo-boo kit. 
Uh, it's mainly plasters, there are some wound closure strips, there's a tick tool in there, some anti-poo tablets, some pain tablets, some wipes, but primarily it's just a little boo-boo kit. Two protein bars, that's 400 calories there for 80 grams in weight. I've done a video on these before. And that's all I've got in the front pocket. The main pocket has got a double zip, so you can open it whichever way you want. And then inside it, there is one large, I've got tied up, there is one large pocket here. Two elasticated mesh pockets there, and another large pocket at the back. So it hasn't got loads of dividers in there like perhaps your Helicon Tex or perhaps Max Pedition do, but to be fair for the price, it's ridiculous. So in this front pocket, there is a cotton bandana, yeah, course, uh, course filter, first aid, whatever. Tissues, a NATO one litre water carrier with a number of Puritab uh, water purification tablets in there, a bug net, my old turbo flame lighter, a match safe, and a signal mirror. In the centre section, Ferro rod, chem light, and just my whistle, and a little LED light, and that to be fair, as soon as I'm out, that's around my neck. In this mesh pocket, silver compass, and pace beads. In the other mesh pocket, Gerber Recon, I had this donkey's years. It's uh, quite good because obviously you've got red, green, white, or blue light, uh, red, green, white, or blue light. You just dial it in by turning what you want, runs on one AA battery, lasts for ages and ages. Head torch. Then in his back pocket, a Hanker 550, multi-tool, olive green emergency bivy bag, and just a piece of tinder card. And that's it. As I say, you can put whatever you want. It could be task dependent, but if it's for a bag out bag, in my head, it's just going to be items that perhaps I want ready access to or easy access to and primarily survival items. So as I say, if I'm unlucky enough to either have to dump my rucksack or lose it for whatever reason, I've got the essentials to affect survival uh, in front of me. If you found the video useful, please consider subscribing. I'd love to read your comments if there's what your opinions are on this type of thing, what you use it for, what you carry in it. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Stay safe. See you soon.